uh, position and he absolutely destroyed them. He was going past people as though they were standing still, but then, uh, you know, and that really sparked the glory and they were very unlucky uh, not to get something out of this game and, and they batted Sydney's goal. Sydney are a team, mind you, who are very rarely going to go on a scoring spree. They're sort of a, mm. they're quite a tight team. Yep. So they're the type of team when they go 1-0 up, the, the opponent knows they're going to have some control of the ball now because mm. Sydney will just naturally go back, right? And they did hit the post there, Adam Hughes, very unlucky. Liam Reddy had a really top-class game in the second half. After last week, uh, you know, against the Gold Coast, where he was a little bit slow to come out, it was a really good reaction from him. Everybody expected Brisbane Roar to hammer Wellington, given their raft of injury concerns. Mark Osser, the level of Brisbane Roar, they had 19 shots to four. They should have easily won this match. It was just missed opportunities. But just the level of their football this season, I'm not sure if you've seen a lot of it this season. It certainly, to our eye, has, has raised another level. No, no, no. I, I'm, I'm following. It's no, it's no. I'm, I'm saying the truth. Every second, I'm, I'm, I try to watch every game. What, what Brisbane, uh, they, they doing now at the moment? I think they show us uh, how, how you be like group strong. You exactly. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because the people, the players jump to the bench, come, come in, and they show the same passion with the same. With the same energy, um, this is unbelievable. They need all respect. Yeah, absolutely. It was, uh, it was a, a performance in line with with every, everything that they've done so far. For for Wellington, gave away a very cheap goal. Having said that, Brisbane then should have, um, and, and that would for Herbert, I'd imagine that would have hurt because uh, early in the game, because you set up the one thing you don't want to uh, concede a team who's going to not have the ball is set pieces uh, against Brisbane. They go and do it, and then Brisbane just absolutely batted them, and it was just a question of whether they could get through. And and sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. It's going to be rare that Brisbane don't. They hit the post twice, and they had a, you know an awful piece of finishing late. They were they should have had the three points. They, the beautiful thing is they can just continue to play the same. Way and that'll continue to bring them the same success. So the Raw three points ahead of Sydney with Perth Glory in third, Newcastle and Central Coast making up the top five. Marcos, we we hurt your feelings earlier by referring to Pele as the greatest, um, <laughs> didn't we? We we did because you, you, you don't agree with that. I forgot. You forgot? Yeah, no. I I mean, I he's unbelievable. He's legend. Uh, he's legend. But I like one little boy. <laughs> little boy. Someone says little black. There he is. I yeah, love yeah. him. I cannot talk more. Okay. Can I watch? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Just yes. watch. Because this is this is Argentina. Maradona is Argentina. Yeah. It's just brilliant watching. I mean, geez, how, how, do, you, how do you pick? Obviously, you've got a connection with Argentina, but how do you pick? They're just two great players. and you, it's, you, it's a, yeah. What a privilege for, for, for Foz to go and meet uh, Pele, and we'd obviously love to meet Maradona as well. And, yeah. and you've got a connection with Newell's old boys as well, a former club of yours that Maradona played at. Yeah, he was playing there. But you know what? Uh, every time when I watch Maradona, he, he, we will talk about you know what he did outside the pitch, but inside the pitch from videos, he gives me my passion, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you find one ex May of Maradona talking bad words mm -hmm. about him, mm -hmm. I would pay, mm -hmm. I would pay money. Because he was superstar, mm -hmm. he was legend, mm -hmm. but he was the warrior with, with his teammate. He was covering ex mm -hmm. When something may have, ex of him have problems, mm -hmm. he was covering, mm -hmm. he's the captain. Yeah. 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 Marcos, the Argentinian fans want to know, as Rilla and I called the qualifier against Bolivia the other day, they were disappointing. They were losing what Di Maria and Aguero, but are they are they like a Rolls Royce uh, caught in second gear at the moment? Is that what is that how you would describe them? Yeah, I know. Yeah, but I, I actually I couldn't believe. I tried to to refresh in my internet a couple of times, but it was <laughs> true. The goal yeah. Come. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's transition, you know. Okay. Transition. We couldn't. We could. We we cannot support. Don't don't see Maradona playing. There's a problem. <laughs> well, OK, on that basis, and your, your view is going to be really important, are we seeing the best of Lionel Messi in the, Argent in the RB Celeste shirt? No, uh, I mean, um, you know, Messi, Messi is unbelievable, hmm. but Messi is not Maradona. It's simple. OK. It is simple, and you've said it well, and thank you for your time, Marcos. <laughs> it has been great to have you on the World Game. Thank you very and much, and, and it's always a pleasure. And great to see you. Thank you very much for, for all the words that you had from, to me, and, and I appreciate it. No OK, thank you, Marcus, no and we'll see you soon when you're in Australia next. I hope. OK, let's uh, now get to the thoughts from Mariana. Thanks.